Hello and welcome my name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video I am going to show you how to install Drupal on web hosting server using cPanel. So this is Namecheap uh, web hosting and I am going to use cPanel to install Drupal the latest version of Drupal which is 9 at this moment. So there are a few things you want to make sure you've got right before you start installing Drupal 8 or 9 on your server. So first thing you need to make sure that you've got your PHP set as a default like 7.3 minimum. So you need to have 7.3 set as a default. To do so you simply look for PHP selector, select PHP version. So go ahead and hit on it, click on it and select PHP 7.3 uh, I would not suggest to go with 7.4 there are some uh, differences between 7.3 and 4 make sure you select 7.3 then you make sure you got uh, PDO MySQL this extension checked and you are good to go the other very important thing that you want to make sure you got your domain as an add-on on this account so to add a domain name from a different registrar go ahead and look for add-on domains or if you have purchased any domain or with Namecheap you'll have to do this so go ahead and type in your domain with extension names so domain dot whatever dot com dot org dot net whatever you have and then hit add domain if it's from Namecheap it's going to be automatically verified and set as add-on domain if it's on some other registrar you will have to verify your ownership so once your ownership is uh, verified this domain will be available for you on on this particular hosting account now we will go ahead and install this Drupal 9 on this particular domain so you can look for Drupal over here but if you don't see you simply go ahead and click here soft Cules, apps installer or you can simply go to portal and CMSs under categories and this will give you a list of all the available CMSs that you can install with soft Cules. so we have Drupal version 9.0.1, 7.8.9 and 6.3 so go ahead and click on it you can also go ahead and click on this demo so this is going to install 9 if you want to select 8.9 that's going to be more uh, reliable and compatible with most of the um, modules and themes out there so go ahead and install this one but for this demonstration purpose I'm going to use 9 Then go ahead and select this HTTPS instead of HTTP because you get free uh, SSL from Namecheap for one year then you go ahead and select the domain name that you want to use and this is cron job by default it's going to do perform the cron job after every two hour okay uh, this is going to be site name so I'm going to say delights admin I'm going to give it just admin I'm going to need this password so go ahead and choose a password that must score above 80 so you can see if it's below 80 it's not going to accept it then you have to type in a working email ID over here similarly goes here so make sure you've got working email ID I can go ahead and put my email address over here I'll put the working email ID over here as well before you hit install you got advanced option you can go ahead and change the name of the database you can change the table prefix for the data uh, you want a backup at least once a week that's going to be frequency and this is going to be saved in our default location 
so you will keep receiving an email whenever there is a backup saved on your server now go ahead and scroll up and make sure everything is all right name uh, admin username this is just for demonstration purpose I would highly not recommend using admin as an administrator name username always go ahead and choose very specific unique for your uh, Drupal sites so do not go with just admin this is just for demonstration purpose this is very very risky now everything seems fine go ahead and hit install and this shouldn't take long time still Drupal is a bit heavier than other CMSs out there it may take up to a minute maximum depending on what okay so here we are it did not take long now so congratulations you are now a Drupal 9 owner so basically the HTTPS is not yet installed on this domain I will get this error message right away specifically with this browser so what I'm going to do let's see if I can pull it in the Firefox so I'm going to say ajob.org okay so welcome to delight now here we are it's still being installed it will take some time now I can go ahead and log in admin I will have to take this new password for this admin account remember you have not chosen as admin as an admin username for this Drupal go with a very specific and unique name so there are a few things that you would like to do as soon as you install Drupal you might change the theme to change the theme you simply look for Drupal theme repositories uh, so Drupal themes and how you are going to do it go here select a theme that you want to install I'm not going to install any theme but what I'm going to do I'm going to so how you can do it I'll quickly go ahead and show you let's say you want to install a theme like uh, this mayo theme okay so go ahead and open it uh, in the meanwhile I'll go ahead and look for a few modules uh, so go under modules so what you have to do you have to copy this it is going to be completely compatible with 9 Drupal 9 okay so what I'm going to do Mm. where is copy thing I do not use this Firefox browser very much link location so now you, you need to go appearance click on appearance okay so this site is a bit slower go ahead and add install new theme just paste that location for this mayo theme here and hit install is not compatible okay so this is how you install a theme it's not yet ready for Drupal 9 so what we need to do I'll go ahead and show you how you can install modules so very simple module that I'm going to use is it's going to be and okay so I make sure that I'm looking for nine men module uh, works with nine okay so that's what you need to do when you go ahead and look for any themes Project. just click on it make sure you are looking for themes that are compatible with nine so we will go ahead and install this admin toolbar must have tool for any Drupal 8 or 9 this is completely link copy link location and go ahead and this time to install any module click on extend and then hit on install new module copy paste that 
admin toolbar location and this is being installed now enable newly added module click on it and here you can search admin and just check all these administrator under it's going to be under administrator once you've checked go ahead and hit install in the meanwhile we will have a look at this these uh, themes available for nine so this is available this is also compatible uh, let's have a look at this one this is menu as well covered by it's not covered by Drupal but this is coming under like it's compatible with Drupal 9 so you can see it says four modules enabled now what you need to do you can go ahead and use these menus like drop down menus now we will go ahead and install a new theme let's see if this works uh, this is coming under this Olivera okay so Olivera is available install newly added themes let's see where is Olivera so set install and set as a default and I want to see this Olivera theme how it looks like awesome so this is this looks good yep people you see look at that so I want to see it on full screen here I also want to log out first so it doesn't have lots of awkward welcome to the lights it looks uh, logo RTL oh it changes you look at that always on mobile edit me RTL okay perfect so you look awesome RTL is not required you can see guys so this works like awesome man so this is latest theme by Drupal and this looks awesome I'm going to switch to this Drupal now with this theme okay perfect so this is how you install Drupal 9 on a web hosting with cPanel and if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP if you need any help with Drupal you can reach me at my email address the same email address which you had here and that's Mulya underscore two four at yahoo.in. So I'll quickly go ahead and show you. So that's it for this video, guys. If again, if you have any questions, suggestion, leave in the comment below. I will try to answer it ASAP. Thanks again. Bye for now. Bye for now.